to the Grassland Middle School Gymnasium. My name is Nick Blue. I'm one of the band directors here at Grassland Middle, along with Mr. Kevin Jankowski. Uh, thank you so much for joining us here uh, for our final performance of the year. Um, the year really for me has flown right by. It really seems like we just started in August, um, and these, these kids have made such great progress. We have a really, really great program for you tonight. Um, I'll, I'll say that when me and Mr. Jankowski were picking this music, we, we thought, well, they've been, you know, they've got two years under their belt. What should we give them? And we thought that it might be the perfect time to kind of challenge them and see what they can do. So we picked three pieces that are quite challenging. Um, and then the final piece you'll hear um, is, is really more on their level. But they've taken what we've given them and really, really tore into it. Um, we've got four really varied selections for you. We're really excited for you to hear the growth that has occurred even since uh, CPA. So without any further ado, uh, I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Jankowski. Um, we're going to play a piece called Zombie Tango.
first, everything would be fine, it's kind of spooky because they're zombies, but then they're zombies, and so their bodies like start to fall apart into chaos, and they're dancing. So if you heard anything kind of odd in the middle, it was, that's kind of supposed to represent that. So, zombie tank. Uh, our next piece, I think, also requires a little bit of explanation. We're going to play a piece called Rippling Watercolors by Brian Ball Ages. Um, and it's, it's very different, um, it's very slow and lyrical, very, very beautiful. But I remember when I arrived here um, at Grass and I looked at the music library and I, I knew this piece, I knew Rippling Wild Watercolors, and I thought, this is too hard. It's too hard for a middle school. I don't know why it's in the library. I don't, I don't, I don't know when a middle school would ever play this. And then me and Mr. J were talking about what we need to play, and I thought, you know, it might be the perfect time to give this band this piece. What you're going to hear, there, there's not a true melody. Um, like most of our pieces will have. It's really just a collection of tone colors, um, and it really, really exposes most every section in the band. We've had a really good time, or at least I have, I think they have too, um, preparing this. So I hope you enjoy your playing watercolors by Brian Boyd.
much. Great job. Very, very good. <clears throat> very, very nice. Uh, where are we? Oh, we're just going to move along. Next we have uh, a piece from Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, well, this has been a real challenge as well to work on. Lot, lots of fun. Uh, so hope you enjoy Pirates of the Caribbean. students. There's so many students um, 
on the, on the floor of the gym right now, they all do such great work, but we do feel like we, we need to recognize some of them uh, for their attitude and their work ethic um, and their dedication to what we do, our program, day in and day out. Um, I always tell the kids that, you know, talent is something, but hard work trumps talent every time. Without hard work, talent will not go far. So these students are going to be recognized for their uh, for their very hard work, daily in class and at home, um, and for their attitude and kindness that they distribute uh, that they demonstrate toward others. We have several people. Feel free to applaud for each student. Students, when I call your name, you may come forward and form a line right by Mr. J right there. We have a medal for you. Uh, we'd right, like to recognize Grant Eden. Individual, which is so important for the total success of the band. 
So just some, some words about that. Um, next. Yeah, so um, at the previous concert uh, this evening, sixth and the eighth grade play at 5 p.m. Um, we have a special presentation for an eighth grade student, and we'd like to kind of recap that because it is very important to us. Um, the, I have a script here, if you'll, if you'll bear with me, I, I want to get it right. When Grassland Middle School opened its doors in 1986, the school was truly starting from scratch. Classrooms were not equipped with desks, chairs, or other basic items for learning, let alone the necessary equipment to begin a band program. The first band director at Grassland Middle School was Ms. Jan Berry, who was in attendance this evening. Under Jan's direction, the Grassland Band quickly grew into a powerhouse program in Williamson County and beyond. During a given year, it wasn't uncommon for there to be 250 band members across the three grade levels in the program, and the bands regularly earned top honors at local and regional festivals. As the program grew, it became apparent that another band director was needed to maintain the standards that Jan had set for the program and assistant directors were hired. These included now veteran Williamson County band directors Carrie Vaughn, Carol Strayer, and Mike Holland, who is now the band director at Franklin High School. As students, colleagues, and administrators came and went, Jan remained a headstrong, constant presence, always serving as the guiding light and tireless advocate for the program that she herself began. Jan oversaw many improvements to the program during her tenure, including the design and construction of the current band room facilities, which are among the finest in the region. Even today, Jane's presence and impact are felt, and the success that the program continues to experience are predicated on the dedication, expertise, care, and hard work put in by Ms. Jan Berry Jossi over her long tenure as the Grass and Middle School Band Director for 33 years until her retirement in 2019. It's for these reasons and so many others that we wish to honor Ms. Jossi this evening with a plaque that reads, for 33 years devoted service to the Grassland Middle School Band Program and in recognition of her innumerable contributions to music education in Williamson County and throughout the state of Tennessee. Ms. Oxy, would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Dr. Drinkwine, Dr. Talbert, Dr. Martin, Dr. 
Jim Harper up here. We're giving him a round of applause. <laughs> the School of Moore County Commission is Susan Abel is a huge, huge applicant for music in at Grassland, whether that's band, orchestra, or chorus. We couldn't do anything we do without her. Um, and these, these administrators have just been wonderful. Um, for, for my first year here at Grassland, and I just couldn't be happier. I couldn't have a, couldn't be happier with, with who we have supporting us that are fighting in our corner, that are always asking us, what can we do to help the program um, grow and be successful? Um, so other people that we wouldn't be able to do anything without is the Steve Powell, um, Bell Morgan, Miss Peggy Sutton, and Miss Martha Hall. If you know what Martha Hall is, she is our bookkeeper, and she is amazing. Right? If she said, I'm going to leave next year, and this pay me a million dollars a year, Dr. Drink Martin should pay her. <laughs> right. she, is, she is that good at her job, and she makes that whole trip that we went for these kids, that whole experience, she made that whole thing possible. Without her, we wouldn't be able to do um, what we do, and we wouldn't be able to provide such a great um, experience for these students. Um, as, as well as Dr. Mark Pollan uh, and Brianna Vogt, uh, with Banders and Franklin, they've been super supportive of what we've been doing. Right, Ms. Vogt and Dr. Pollan have been in our school and in our building probably at least once a week working with some 8th graders just around the program trying to help as best they can to really appreciate, appreciate what they're doing. Ms. Ashley Fowler, is she here? Someplace home cover, she's 16. She was a huge help on our trips and we wanted to honor her as well. Um, Karen Miller, John Easley, all the chaperones as I mentioned, again without your help, chaperone that trip is a job. It's work. It feels like sometimes like family vacation, but it's, it's work, and without your help, we, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. Um, on top of that, uh, before we present our final selection, I'd like to draw attention to a note in your program regarding advocacy. If you appreciate the value of these opportunities for your children, it is essential that we advocate for music's place in our school. We are so lucky to work in a building where our programs are supported, celebrated, and there's always more work to be done. The most important voice in supporting our programs must come from you, the Grassland community. Phone calls and letters to school and city administrators, and positive word to mouth, especially as we continue our recruitment push with the rising sixth grade class, are the most important tools we can use to ensure that we can continue to provide this outstanding opportunity for your children. I always say it takes about four to five years to build a powerhouse program at least, whether that's band, whether that's athletics, football, soccer, cheerleading, it takes time to build those programs. It takes about one year to just tear it all around. So we need your help to make sure you continue to advocate for the things that you believe in and make sure that we can continue providing these, these opportunities for your children. So without further ado, let's get to our last piece, The Avengers. Thank you. 
in the bathroom a lot during the day. Not just because they practice, but because we have a class at Grassland that I'm where the students eat lunch for half of a particular period, and then the other half of that particular period, they're with some teacher. And a lot of these guys are with us um, during that period and during the lead at the end of the day. And um, we, with that uh, comes a lot of extra responsibility for them. They, they all year have sometimes very willingly, most of the time very willingly, and sometimes begrudgingly help us set up for nearly every performance that we have in this, in this gym. These kids, if, that was, if that's you in our lead, could you raise your hand? Yeah, so a lot of these kids have done a lot of work for us, um, helping keep the bathroom tidy um, and helping with setting up for our concerts. I'd like to just recognize that. Wonderful metal boards, and I'd like you, and when I call your name, those people were Ainsley Devlar and Caitlin Circle and Cam Crockett. <laughs> I only have one more thing to say, and I should have said this at the previous concert as well, and I didn't. Um, this is my third year at, at Grassland. Uh, the first two years I was here, I worked with a wonderful colleague, Mr. Mike Shiota, who's actually in attendance. Uh, tonight, many of you remember him from last year. I need, I need to recognize Mr. Jankowski. Um, and I should have done this at the previous concert, I didn't, and I'm, so, I'm sorry, but um, it's just been a, a real joy getting to work with, with Mr. J, with Kevin. Um, I've learned so much from him. He's been a huge asset to our program and to your students. There are many things um, that he's brought to the table in terms of expertise and experience, and a large part <clears throat> of the growth that we've seen this school year and successes we've seen this school year, in particular, the entire Dollywood trip, um, are really due to him. So I just wanted to recognize Mr. J. <laughs> this evening. I hope you have a wonderful summer. Um, see you around. See you next year. Goodbye. Thank you.